have documents just as I didn't have because they went just down to shop. And uh, so they, they asked us just the name and, uh, and a birth date, which I gave everything uh, invented. I mean, uh, because I gave them a Polish name. Of course, I didn't give my name. And what name did you invent? Katarina Chukowska. And it, even the birth date with the birth city, another city, because I didn't want anything with little shits anymore. I was scared. So anyhow, they took us to Vienna. And in Vienna, uh, in Vienna, the uh, farmers came to pick their workers. One family picked me, which was a German family who lived on the Austria-Czechoslovakian border. We were 80 kilometers from Vienna. Uh, there I survived till the end of the war. Pretending to be Christian, went every Sunday to church and uh, tried to, uh, to whatever anybody did, I did too, because I wasn't familiar with the Catholic, they were Catholic, with the Catholic religion. I saw how important to know, to know different religions that time. I was too much sheltered because we lived in a different atmosphere. And um, there I survived, and to that part, the Russian came in and liberated us. We told to go back to Poland. Well, and, and then two, two young men joined us. One ethnic community of 7,000 people. And um, we, we shared, like, in equal parts, uh, Polish Catholics, Ukrainian, and Jews. We were all friendly to each other. We lived in many years. But we weren't, like, on social basis, we weren't too close. We were very cordial to each other. Uh, people did business with each other. And it was a quiet life. We, we didn't know anything better, and we didn't have any complaints. Everybody lived their own lives. And your family? I had an extended family. I had a big family. I, by myself, are one of eight.